everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your new shot. And I'm going to go to SHTFplan.com for this one. <laughs> Here's a, one of those um, stealth uh, type of regulations that get snuck into bills. It says, House is scheduled to vote on legislation regarding the sales of gun silencers this week. That's right, slowly but surely, they just, you know, they tighten the, the noose and pretty soon we'll be hanging says, although the mass shooting in Las Vegas won't likely delay the vote scheduled for later this week on the regulation of gun silencers, it could, in fact, alter the outcome. A provision called the Hearing Protection Act, tucked into the Bipartisan sports, Sportsman Heritage and Recreational Enhancement, or SHARE Act, would in, eliminate restrictions on silencers and instead treat them as ordinary firearms. Under the National Firearms Act of 1934, suppressors along with destructive devices such as grenades or rocket launchers, sawed-off shotguns and machine guns required federal registration and special licenses to own, as well as a $200 tax stamp to purchase that would be also repealed under this uh, proposed law. And a vote, uh, of course, uh, on this law was delayed before. Now, remember the last time this vote was delayed? It was after the shooting of Representative Steve Scalise, while practicing uh, baseball uh, back in, in June. Now, you don't happen to think that this might be a, <clears throat> a little bit of a coincidence, that here you have a, a, a bill up for vote. Steve Scalise gets shot. Last time it's up for vote. This time, mass shooting in Las Vegas. You know, both done by these <clears throat> lone wolves, if you will. So the vote was postponed until early September. It passed out of the House Committee um, natural of, of natural resources on a party line vote of 22 to 13. And it was expected to see a similar vote in the full house. Democrats in the Senate, however, are already expected to block the measure. And now they have that whole crisis to exploit. So what was going to be a good thing, you know, to relax these regulations have now, you know, you have an event and now that's not going to happen when a silencer had absolutely nothing to do with this. But they're going to use this crisis to be able to promote a continuation to restrict your right, your right to bear arms. And I'm sorry, folks, if you want to have a silencer, have a silencer. If you want to have a machine gun, have a machine gun. You know, the only thing I can say is these concerts and things like this, you'd be a lot safer if more people were armed. Now, in this case, you had somebody sniping people out of a 30-second story uh, window in a hotel. You're not going to be able to do much about that. I mean, and, and to be honest with you, there are crazies out there. And this is a dangerous world. And my friends in America, let me tell you something. We're extremely sheltered because the rest of the world is not a safe, happy-go-lucky, go-to-a-concert uh, kind of place. The rest of the world... Um, in a lot of places is pretty violent, pretty bad. And you should count your blessings of what you have here in the United States because I got to tell you, it ain't like that in the rest of the world. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.